Hey everyone, welcome back to the Awesomer Pop channel. Today we're gonna use Jello and we'll try to make matching gummy bottles. Hopefully, at the end, you won't know which one's the real bottle. Okay, so in order to make the Powerade bottle, we're going to use blue Jello. To make the Sprite bottle, we're gonna use green Jello. To make the Sunkiss bottle, we're going to use orange Jello. And to make the Cola bottle, we're going to use purple Jello. I know, a little weird, but trust me, it's gonna work. Alright, let's start by making a Coke jelly bottle. We do need to pour out all of the cola since we won't be needing it. Pour it into a cup and enjoy a glass while you make your jelly. Or if you like flat soda, I sometimes do. Just put it in the fridge for later. Alright, that's good. Now let's tear off the label. I would use an X-Acto knife or something similar to make a clean cut. That way you can tear off the label with ease and it won't look messy. If the label looks clean, then your gummy bottle will look much better. Okay, this is perfect. Now let's make a cut right in the middle. You don't want to open it up all the way. Just cut the middle portion. So if you have an opening like this, then you're good. Okay, now we need to use duct tape to seal the cut. To match the shape of the bottle, I'm going to cut some of the bottom and top areas of the tape. When you completely seal it, you want to make sure your tape is smooth. If it looks a bit rough, then your gummy might leak out, so keep that in mind. So yeah, cut away bits and pieces so that the tape matches the bottle shape. And if you're wondering why we're sealing something we just cut, I'll explain that later. I went ahead and did the same with the Sprite bottle. I also did the same with the Sunkiss bottle. And I also prepared the Powerade bottle as well. Since we started with the Coke bottle, let's make our purple jello. I have one and a half cups of hot water, and I'm pouring in a quarter cup of corn syrup. Now I'm going to mix until the corn syrup dissolves. I had a six ounce jello box. Now I'm going to pour in this entire pack into the measuring cup as well. Now I'm going to give this a mix again. Perfect. Now let's bloom some gelatin. I'm going to add three tablespoons into this bowl with water. Now you can let your powder sit for a bit or you can go straight into mixing. It really doesn't matter. What's important is when you start mixing, you don't want to see any big white clumps towards the end. So after mixing for a couple of minutes, you should get bloom gelatin that looks a bit chunky, or you might get more of a slushy look. Doesn't matter as long as you don't see any white clumps. Now let's add all of the unflavored gelatin into the measuring cup as well, and give it a mix until the gelatin dissolves. All right, now I'm just gonna pour the jello into the Coke bottle. There we go, put the cap on, and this will stay in the fridge overnight. I went ahead and made the orange jello as well. That looks good. Here's the green jello. This looks good too. Now this Powerade bottle was a bit difficult to tape up because of the shape. You're going to have to use smaller duct tape pieces to seal the cut, but you'll still experience minor leaking. Quickly put this in the fridge after pouring so that the jello can set. Also, put a plate underneath as well so that it doesn't get messy. Okay, see you tomorrow. Just kidding, we wouldn't make you wait that long. Okay, so it's been a full day on our end, so let's check out our gummy bottles. Let's carefully remove the tape. Now, the reason why you want to make a cut in the beginning is for your benefit, actually. It's much easier to rip the plastic off, and it'll help keep the gummy in shape. If you try to rip the plastic without making the cut in the beginning, you might damage your gummy bottle. So after you peel the tape off, you can open it up like this to do a quick check. Everything looks good. Now, the easiest way to take the plastic off from this point is to grab a pair of scissors and start at one of the ends. Make a large cut and do the same at the top. Now peel the plastic off. After making those two cuts, you should be able to peel off the middle portion with ease. Now to remove the top plastic, make little cuts like this and carefully remove it. You might need to take the cap off too so that you can hold the neck of the gummy. That's the most fragile part, so you don't want it to rip. There we go. And the bottom should just come out easily. Awesome! Here's our gummy Coke bottle. We got all the details on the gummy bottle, and it looks incredible. Super jiggly too. 
Now let's take out the Sprite Gummy Bottle. Here's a closer look at our Sprite Gummy Bottle. These details look insane too. Okay, now let's take out the Sunkissed Bottle. Here's a closer look at our orange Sunkiss Gummy Bottle. And you get the picture now, so let's move on to making our gummy bottles look even more real. Start with the Coca-Cola bottle. Let's attach the label. Purple Jello was the closest to the cola color. At certain angles, you do notice the purple, but overall, pretty darn close. Now let's check out the Sprite. This one looks very similar. And this orange sun-kissed one is pretty much a spitting image, don't you think? Now, the blue Powerade one was the hardest one to do, but the bottle shape came out perfectly, and with the label on it, it looks pretty real. Okay, now sit back, relax, and enjoy while I do a little slicing. Afterwards, I'll do a taste test, so stick around. Alright, now I'm going to slice some more and do a taste test for each flavor. Start with the green jello. If this was carbonated, would have been pretty close to Sprite. Okay, now let's try the orange. Doesn't taste like sun-kissed, but it's close. It's a sweet orange flavor. Now let's try the purple jello. This was a great flavored cola. Okay, now let's try the power raid. Mm-mm-mm. Doesn't taste like blue Powerade, but this blue Jello is really good. Let us know which gummy bottle was your favorite and which one matched the best. I'm gonna give mine to the Sunkiss bottle. That one was pretty cool. Awesomer Pop fans! Thank you so much for watching. We can't do this without you. If you're new to the channel and became a fan, Click that subscribe button for more awesome stuff. And if you want to be the first person to watch our next video, hit that notification bell to have a chance. See ya!